I notice I've been more than willing to talk and write about other ruptures like the divorce I went through or my mom's death. But as I've been doing deeper inner work over the last few months, I was really led back to what I now see as my original spiritual rupture and the catalyst for my commitment to living a life of meaning. And it happened 20 years ago this month. It's the ending of an engagement one month before the wedding. This was so catastrophic to me, to my psyche, and I, I felt so different from other people, especially other people my age. And I distinctly remember my mind creating a judgment that said, people get divorced. They don't have engagement breakups. What's wrong with you? And of course I felt rejected and I felt like um, I didn't know what to do aside from clinging to a pretty empty phrase that says time heals all wounds because it really doesn't. Not without our willingness to meet and honor and hold our pain. But the truth is, I touched the spiritual realm through this breakup. The pain opened me to life and the beauty of nature and the depth and connectedness I want in relationships and the meaning I want in life. And I've noticed that our culture really doesn't teach us to honor the wounds, to see that we're still whole despite what happens in life. When we experience a rupture, we don't need to be left alone or be prescribed pills to numb ourselves or to drink too much or anything else we do to avoid the pain of life. The more we can honor our wounds, stay with them, learn from them, and let them show us where we'd like to grow, the more alive we can become and the more life we let in. Whatever rupture or ruptures you've endured, it's not that you did it wrong or that you're not good enough or that you're not allowed to be happy for long or whatever else your mind is telling you. It's that you're human living a life that's filled with it all from pain to pleasure and everything in between. And you can get better and better at holding yourself in the midst of it all while also truly living a life of meaning until next time. Much love.